Okay, so today I have a couple of appointments, and have you ever had this happen when you have to, you need the services of whomever, whatever kind of services, but the people who are the people that you get these services from, uh, they are a toxic and somehow, some way, you know, a toxic person, and you really don't have much of a choice. In the whole matter okay that's the kind of situation I'm in but there's more and these like I said they're toxic people and basically they they're judgmental about things that do, they should not be judgmental about but somehow they justify in their minds that they can be and should be and it's like boggling who do you think you are kind of boggling who are these people that do that? Why would they do that? You know, th this kind of question. Now, in my situation, one of them I still don't know. I've mentioned it. I'm just going to, if I put this on the same channel, I might put it on a different channel. But, uh, it's somebody barely younger than I. Okay, the other one is someone I think is very naive. Not all people who are younger than I are naive. But this one I think is very naive. I know the age, but I'm not going to say, but younger than I, not a bit. And, but it's very naive and doesn't realize you just don't say things like that to people. Okay, especially someone like my age to mention someone, you know, who's my age to say, basically find ways to say you're old. <laughs> Seriously. You just don't do that. Okay, but they're both very judgmental, and it's like, and so they're trying to find, like that one's doing it, it's naive. It's very, you know, just naive, immature, however you want to see it. Just doesn't realize that's not, that's just not something you do. The other one is like searching for something. Now that searching for something, I've seen as uh, a lot in my life. People who are going to try hard to find something wrong with you. So they can act superior to you, or superior to anybody. You can be sitting there, innocent bystander, by sitter, and see them doing it to other people. They want to show some superiority, which them doing all that just shows their inferiority, really. Okay, but anyway, I mean, I'm hoping I get some sleep because today is the appointment. It's after midnight, so I mean today, today. Um, and the appointments, but it, it just feels like it's, you know, at my, at my age, I'm just turned 60, six zero. I'm like, this is not where I want to be in this point in my life, is to be around people who think that they can speak to me this way, you know, that they can be judgmental about me, like I was telling Adam, it's not that I feel superior to anybody. But I don't, I don't play the totem pole game myself. I don't say this person is superior and this person is inferior. I don't play that game. I'm a sociologist. I know the game. I know how people, you know, rate stuff. Why, you know, why it's wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. And, and so on. Of course I know. I taught at college and university. But, uh, in this one, I told him, I said, if I wanted to be real, you know, and, and possibly... Uh, I mean, to be real, it's honest, truth, truth, tested truth, um, and I was a mean person, I could really insult these people who think that. I really could because I, I have something, you know, I do have a, a, a medical condition that is rare. I've had it since I was a child, and uh, it took a lot from me. It takes a lot from me. And... But it, but it seems like that's what gave me one good thing. And this is well, at least one. But mainly this one good thing that has, it's a person, can be me measured. Okay, and it has been. And it's really a collection of things. But it makes me superior in that, in that thing, in that, that group, really. Okay. It's, more than, it's mainly one, but... I don't even know how to put it, really. It's just a collection of things. I'm just going to put it that way. But it makes me superior. And I'm talking expert tester. 
Okay, I'm me just making it up. This is tested throughout my lifetime. Okay, and I could use that to say I am superior to you, and here's the proof. But I don't do that. But yet, I don't do that. And what am I faced with? People who are trying to tell me I am inferior to them. And it's on a regular basis. I go to a hospital because I don't have health insurance. Need, need I say more? And I'm not suspicious like that. It's the people. I try not to be. I mean, I'm not ignorant either. I'm not stupid. But people around it, people that tell me, well, call these and call that. And they'll say, if you don't have health insurance, you know, they'll say, Oh, well, then they'll let you die. And that's the mantra, it seems like. They will let you die. It was unbelievable. Oh, I feel like I was getting choked here. <clears throat> wow. And I'm not eating anything. <laughs> Just, oh, my goodness. Anytime I get a lot, I feel like coughing and having an allergy attack. I do have those. But anyway, see what I'm saying? It's when somebody, people are judging me, and I should be the one judging them, but I'm not that tight, yet they're doing it, and it's harming me. You see? Okay, and I, and I can mean that in more than one way, of harming me. You know, of course, you know, there's emotional damage, some, something like this, because it really is kind of, it's a form of verbal abuse. A form of emotional abuse, I should say. Um, but also, because I need the services, and therefore, if I don't get them, I have to kind of like, play the game, their game, I have to, because, like I said, you know, sometimes you just don't have a choice, and not really, you know, it's going to be worse on you, or something like that, and, you see what I'm saying, it just, it just takes so much from a person, but it's, it's you know, like people say you got to play the game, well, I don't play games, let's see, well, if you expect to win, you got to play the game, that, that's, uh, anyway, I'm not that type. I'm just not. But this this is really, you know, it's, it's, I'm hopeful. Seriously now, I sit around, I sit in my house, I'm in here pretty much all day today except for one time I went out. And no coughing, no allergy attack, nothing like that. I get online and this has been going on for years. Anytime I get online to talk and have a, make a video, I'm going to start coughing and sneezing. Never fails. <laughs> Seriously, I cannot th remember in the, it'd be nine years in August on my original channel that I've been making videos and I cannot remember a time it hasn't happened. Seriously, I cannot remember. There probably was somewhere out there, somewhere during that, during that. Oh my goodness. It's after midnight. Did I say that? But anyway, <laughs> I'm hoping I don't um, have a problem that I didn't. Uh, one of these times I just could not sleep. Sometimes I, I get bothered by something in the middle of the night, I wake up, and then I'm not able to go back to sleep. That happened with this um, one of them. But it's, to the more I have two. Like I said, one just seems like somebody naive. But the same token, okay, you shouldn't be in that kind of job. If when interviewed, it should have, or somebody, hasn't somebody said something? Is it not just not the case? Is it just, what, but... You just don't say that stuff to people. Really. And places that they're, you know, they're not catching that some people are not saying, that some people are saying things they shouldn't like, not, this is not the case, but I mean, do they no, no longer now? Like when I was working, um, at first it wasn't, then later on we had to take classes, I mean, it was basically class, go to lectures about, um, harassment on the job okay and i wonder if they still do those but we also had to know stuff about um there's ageism and that was not about older people judging younger people that was younger people judging older people you know, 40 years old or older and things like you see on the eeoc do they even know about these things now has it all changed <laughs> is it still there but you see not to you know, tell somebody they're too old or just to point out their age is inappropriate. I worked at a job, um, oh, it was probably, huh, not even 10 years ago. And uh, I wasn't there long. The the actual, um, what was she? she uh, 
executive director. Yeah, she, we had a meeting and we were. It was in a small room, too small for as many people. And there was a woman sitting across from her. And the woman was probably, I think she was around 61, 62. I think she she said something to me about it. But anyway, she uh, the executive director asked her her age. And man, my eyes got big and so did other people. And the, the woman said, I'm not telling. She found some way to, to politely say she's not going to tell her her age. It's the, you know, and it's, it's, it's very, from what I understand, I don't think you'd call it illegal, but, or maybe it is illegal, actually considered illegal. Or it's just, you know, whatever. I mean, I really don't even know anymore. I'm telling you, it's been so long. And it just floored me. It just did that she had the nerve. And then she said, "Well, you can tell me or not. I'm just I can go and look it up on your application." You know, and I'm like, "Whoa, you just don't do that." But I'm kind of wondering now, you know, had it started changing? And I know that there are some people who never felt any bo any worry, any concern about asking people their age. Seriously, on a job, the the boss. You know, besides that, or they they don't feel any, yeah, like in interviews, and that, this this had come up recently, and uh, in that kind of situation, and it was like so, whoa, you know, <laughs> seriously. I'm trying to leave out the the exact places I've called so many, I've spoke to so many, and so many reasons why I'm saying all this, uh, but I don't want to point anybody the finger at anybody. And it might be not what you're thinking e either, but it's just, I mean, lately, I'm just, I'm just ashamed of what I see. You know, in my lifetime, how it's changed so much, I am ashamed of it. What, it, what I see out there, you know, people actually having the nerve to ask someone their age, of, of, of whatever management part they're in, whatever level of management, to ask an employee the, their age, that was, whoa, and like, putting her, in front of all these other people too, it shouldn't be asked at all, no matter, but to put them in that, put that person in this situation, in front of the whole rest of the, you know, the staff, on top of it all, and then to have the nurse, I'll just go look at your application. And, I mean, all these things, all of this nerve, and just, especially, like, seeing so much lately, people, the way they speak to one another, they're using the, the most foul language possible, and they're trying to act like, and, and, and even say that adults cuss. No, not all, all adults do, do. Stop fooling yourself. But just the way they talk to one, they use, especially using the C word, um, to just describe women, men, women, I mean, it doesn't matter who's saying it, whatever gender, but just to be doing it to women, that is the lowest of the low that I know, that's verbal abuse, oh my goodness, that's extreme, but they just take it as though this is an everyday thing, we do that, and oh, seriously, and I, I'm ashamed of all this, I mean, I have no reason, I didn't cause it, but it's just like, you know, things, you know, like people say, if you're going to, I mean, I'm not expecting to die anytime soon, but it, I mean, three times in the ER did kind of make me question these things, <laughs> seriously, and still don't know what it is, but, um, may, you know, it, it did make me question, I mean, what, how people say you want to leave this earth better than when you arrived, I don't see that happening. I see that every year as time goes by, it, gets, it worsens. Seriously, there are a lot of people out there, far too many, with behaviors like you would see in the DSM under Cluster B Personality Disorders. It's way too much. And it just seem, seems to be acceptable and accepted. It's okay, so what? Big deal, they're narcissistic. So what? They're histrionic. So what? They're psychopathic. Well, it's actually... No, uh, that's a whole explanation. Or they have the borderline. So what? Eh, so what? Some people actually even feel proud if somebody calls them narcissistic. Seriously. You know, it's just like, what the... 
as, as much as they can, you know, make everything about them, some people feel pride when somebody says that you think the, that this woman I worked with, uh, probably, well, it was about 15 years ago, she held up her, one of her fingers, her index finger, made a circle around it with her other index finger, you know, round and around and around, and she said, this, my friend says this is me, and she that finger, the index finger, and then she said, and the, this is the world, and she did it around like that, and I thought, she, and she just loved it, and I thought, this woman is bragging about something like that, she should feel ashamed if our friend told her that, she thinks the world revolves around her, really, and your friend is telling you, you're not going, going to go, oh, maybe I need to change my ways, no, she, she felt proud, that's how she was. It's just become a bizarre world, bizarre. But then, uh, seriously, it, it's just feeling like, and and not much is changing. It just seems to get, to, just seems to worsen. And something might temporarily change, but then it just goes, kind of goes back to normal. At some point, you know, like the, the not normal, not normal. I should not say that. It goes back to how bad it was. If the things that owe oh, something is improving, boop, nope, back, like a rubber band. <sighs> back to bad. It's back. But, anyway, I just wanted to get some of this off my chest. I'll see how tomorrow goes. Talk to y'all in another video.